there and welcome to the locker room in another installment of Showcase. And to my left and to your right in that camera, listen to this, the number one PR manager in the entire world, in our company, out of over 30 managers, Judy, is that right? 30 plus. 30 plus managers. I'm excited that she's here in the locker room. I'm gonna let her share a little bit about how you did that. First, tell us a little bit about you and yeah. where you came from and how this all came Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Well, I'm from Toledo, Ohio, in the vicinity. Started in 1989. Um, through 1999 and then took a brief you know leave and came back in 2010 and from that point on 2010 got promoted Roger and Scott interviewed me for a manager's position and okay. I'm here so what you do is you manage mm -hmm. other PR people Yes. And you finished out number one. I did. How'd you do it? You know, success leaves clues. Absolutely. Come on, Ms. Absolutely. Tell us how you did it. Well, it's pretty simple, to be honest. You know, in PR, it's about building relationships, building relationships with your groups. Um, yeah, I have six PR reps in Ohio, and in coaching them, cultivating them, and getting them out of their comfort zone is really key. Okay. Pushing them to limits where they're not comfortable anymore, uh, and find out what they want. Do they want, you know, recognition? Do they want money? I like it. You know, for bonuses, everybody wants money, right? So you took time to find out what motivates each of these people, Absolutely. and you found it different with each. Absolutely. Okay. Go Absolutely. Ahead. So you know, when you find out what their niche is, it's pretty simple. You you know, you go with them. You work in the field with them. You know, weekly, daily. You call them. You build them up. You coach them. You're with them. And you know, it's really no different from being a, an, an agent in the field to a GA to an SA. You know, it's it's really it's about the partnerships and one thing that i do want to stress is to really get on top and be a leader and go to those areas and hit high numbers it's about the partnerships not only with the groups but your agency partnerships okay. and i think a lot of times pr agency we we don't focus enough on each other and i will say in ohio jim Serace, marcus smith you know, I work with Mike Basu, Pat Bender. Great guys, great guys. Matt Parks. Great guys. All you know, great they're people that I adore, I love, and I work with, you know, love on it. a weekly basis. Love it. So now I think I'm getting the feel for exactly how you succeeded. You succeeded because you helped everyone around you achieve their goals. So Absolutely. this is really, gang, a leadership message. What you just heard mm -hmm. is obviously you care a lot about these people. Absolutely. You care about them individually. Each of them are different and unique. What else would you give? tip wise to anyone out there who would like to have the success that you had because you were number one number one yeah. in the country well what tip would you give to people out there who would want that also? that want that it first starts by goal setting you, you have to have a clear goal you have to be able to implement you strategize you have to go revisit your goals and honestly we did that so Caring about these people, number one. Yes. Number two, having very specific goals, goals. that you're going after. Yes. Before we close out this message, because I think you got it all perfectly, any other advice you would give to everyone in that locker room on how they can live their best life? Because that's what this is all it, about. It is. You know what? You guys have have a strong spouse. I am so fortunate and so blessed to have Dennis as my spouse. You know, we have three children we adopted. He's, he's at home with them. I'm on the road a lot. You guys, I'm on the road 12 hours a day, some days, two days, three nights. So you have to have that, you gotta have that good partnership. Dennis, they have to, they have to be willing to give it all. And, I, I, and this I, man does that. Listen, I, I normally don't do this, but <laughs> folks, you're looking at a very special couple here. They adopted three children. I mean, to adopt is the ultimate in love. And this man right here, allows her to do what she does because he takes care of these children, takes care of the house, who knows what else he does, <laughs> but you're getting a lot of support at home. Dennis, what would you say to those out there, other spouses maybe, who are behind the scenes, kind of like what you are here, what advice would you give to them, to their spouses on how maybe they can make this happen like you guys did? Because you guys got a winning team here. What would I think you, you just have to stand, beside, stand behind your uh, spouse and uh, support them. Support him. Yeah. I mean, and, and, sounds like know, a lot of love. And, and I want to add, he loves American income. He <laughs> loves American income. I came back to American income because, you guys, there's no other company that gives you opportunity. Bernard always said, said opportunity unlimited. 
it is so that but you have to work it and then you have to create your plan and then work your plan well for those of you out there who are wondering as you watched that Spotlight magazine every month and saw this young lady's name constantly number one, finishing the year number one, you now heard it here. I, I hope you enjoyed this locker room. By the way, if they follow your advice and your support for those spouses at home, what will those millions of people out there end up living? They're what? They're Their very, very best, best life. life. It's a wrap. Yeah, guys. If you've enjoyed and feel the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message? 